Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this video, we're going to take a look at the artistic media tool in CorelDRAW and specifically working with brushes, artistic media brushes. I have to say that as a designer, getting to the place where I was very efficient with the design, creation, use of, and working with brushes was really a breakthrough for me because I was able to do things in a way I couldn't do them before and operate very quickly to create better designs and better design elements more easily. And you can see some of that in my various video tutorials. Artistic media brushes are dynamic and allow for expedited design workflow while also providing dynamic design elements. Brushes do not have the limitations of static clip art or design assets. They allow you to shape, form, and scale the brushes to your design. Brushes also function for greater creativity with improved design speed and dynamics. And we can see this here in the brushes that I have lined up. And these are some flame brushes. And I've actually developed over 1,600 brushes that you can find on advancedtshirts.com for working with brushes in your design workflow in Corel Draw. Well, what's so dynamic about them? Well, it simply is that they form to a line, a basic vector line. If I select this brush and I'll zoom in and we'll take a look and we'll go to view and wireframe and we can see the brush flows along the line. We'll go back to view and enhanced. So now this brush I can take and reshape and change the scale and width of it. I'll change the width to let's say 2.5 and hit enter. And that's a little bit more of what I want. So I'll go down to 1.75 and hit enter. And you can see how I can adjust that. I can also just come here in the center and pull that back. Or I can come here and push this up and change the width. So it's dynamic in its width. But going beyond that, I'll go to the pick tool, double click on the flame element and you can see that these are nodes and line segments and I can form and change this so I don't have the limitations that I have when I'm working with static clip art. I can completely form this to whatever shape I would like it to have for my design. There's also a complete tutorial series on advancedtshirts.com called The Secrets of Brushes in CorelDRAW where I get into very detailed and in-depth training on brushes. And you can see here that I've got some brushes set up with the Soccer Champs design. And the other thing I can do is I can select the brush and let's see, I want to see what different brushes look like. I'll go to the folder here. I'll go to my brushes. I'll go to Brush Pack 2. I'll go to Flames. Scroll over here. I'll go to Styled Flames with Color. Select OK. This needs to be set to custom. Roll down and I can see all of my different brushes here. Now I can change the brush to see what different brushes look like. Now if you see some error in a brush, usually that's due to something going on with a node or a line element. And you can just fix that very easily. Double click here. Click off. I want to go in here. Go back to my pick tool. Double click. and Get rid of this node. And you can see I smooth that right out bring this over this way and shape it right into the design and see how this brush might look in my design as opposed to this one. So I can go through and dynamically shape these design elements to my designs and then look at different 
versions of them very quickly and easily, opening up a whole new avenue of design workflow and graphic design working with brushes and artistic media in Corel Draw. Let's zoom out and we'll take a look at a few things here. Here I have, and there's a tutorial for this design on advancedtshirts.com that includes this brush as a free download in the tutorial work along file. This is what I call my Flame Builder Brush Construction Kit. And with these flames, I came in, add all these flame elements to the numbers in the racing number design, welded them in, and created a design working with brushes. I was able to form those flames exactly how I'd want those flame elements in the numbers for the design. Here I have a text design, Psalm 23, Fearless, I Will Fear No Evil. And if I click on that, that is a brush that I created from this element here. I'll hit Control Z. Let's see how we can set something like this up. I'll delete that and I'm going to delete this and I'll take this here and I'll just left click and bring it over into the artistic media docker now if you don't have that you can go to window dockers effects and artistic media and that'll bring that up just drag that over left click release I'm going to set it up as a brush I'll select OK I'll call this brush tutorial for the name of the brush and we'll select save now that just came in down here I want to deselect this I'll put this back up here I'm gonna select this bring that up there come over to my artistic media tool make sure I'm on brush with nothing selected come in left click hold down drag my mouse and form the vector line segment and nodes around into here and then I'll release and you can see there is the decorative brush set up in my design go to the pick tool double click then I'll be able to see my line segments and my nodes I'll delete this node and this node bring this over here a little bit maybe I'll bring this up into here a bit bring this over here and then just curve it up a little bit I'm gonna go back to my artistic media tool and just start bringing this down in size for the design element go back to the pick tool double click on that and I can dial this in and shape it in any way I want as a decorative element in my design I'll bring this up this way here and that down there just a little bit. Now it's just flowing from the outside of the text into this design element here. Very easily and quickly formed into the design. And that's really the benefit of working with brushes. Now I'm going to duplicate this. I'll grab the stretch handle, hold that down, left click, right time, duplicate, hold down control so I go exactly 100%. Now what happened that time is I got a hold of the line. I want to hit Control Z and make sure I've got the brush. Left click, stretch, hold down, right click one time, holding down Control so it's a 100%. Bring that over, and I can bring that over and set that up in my design. And now I've added a nice decorative element to the design. I'll zoom in there, make sure these are in about the same place. And they are. Now I could adjust this a little bit if I want to. Maybe I'll bring this down just a little bit here. And then this up over here because the shape's a little bit different. The shape of the S. Pull this up a little bit here. And really dial that in. And then I can pull back and I can see the decorative element now incorporated into the design working with the artistic media tool and the brush tool in Corel Draw. So we'll wrap here concerning the artistic media and the brush tool in Corel Draw and we'll continue in our next session.